The obvious part of the change in curriculum 2019 is that the structure of the examinations will change. So instead of having the CT exams, they will become CS and CM exams, so core statistics, core mathematics. The profession is changing, so far more than just crunching numbers, it's becoming far more about interpreting what the output of those numbers means. The benefits for the employer of the new curriculum uh, is that it's up to date, um, it's uh, internationally compliant, um, and it will equip the actuaries that will be joining those companies or who are already in those companies with the knowledge and the tools and the techniques um, that will make them fit for the jobs that you will be expecting them to do as an employer. I think what the employer will see from the new curriculum is that in terms of time to qualify there probably won't be much change. What they will see is training actuaries and at the end of the day fellows of the Institute who've got a far better understanding of what is required to do the work of an actuary today rather than the work of an actuary 10 or 15 years ago. We focused on flexibility because we have an increasingly international group of students taking our examinations. Um, people travelling to examination centres um, becomes more and more difficult, uh, particularly for those who are in remote areas or regions. And so the flexibility of having these practically based examinations, we call them problem based exams, uh, is that they can do those in their own, well they can't do it in their own time, but they can do it in their own location. Students who have got particular exam passes in the current curriculum um, will be aware that they will move over into passes into the new curriculum. This isn't the case for all of the exams because there are a number that merge together, um, but, but we've uh, released material that the students can go and look at which explains how each of the passes sort of maps across. Um, and that's been out for about the past two years to give students guidance. We are making the curriculum as relevant as we can to all our exam takers. So some of it in the past has been very UK focused, particularly in the later specialist subjects. Um, and we now try to make it much more relevant to an international audience. And that's a, been a very important driver um, to the introduction of this, of this new curriculum.